All right, Coach, talk about that second half effort from your team to come back from a pretty lackluster first half. Well, the, you know, it was uh, some adjustments were made in the second half. We knew that, or we felt we had the conditioning and, uh, and the mental capacity to come out and, and start the second half tough. Um, I, I was happy with what we did. You know, we certainly didn't make it easy on ourselves today, but in the end, we, uh, we did enough to win, and, and our young kids grew again. Big good night on special teams for you. Not something we're used to seeing from this team. With three kick blocks and then the fake punt tonight, just a, a big night for specials oh, overall. Outstanding night special team-wise uh, and a fake punt run. You know, we, we uh, Coach Otilio had the teams prepped, and it was just, uh, you know, they were certainly a difference maker tonight. You're 6-0 and with a really young team. First of all, are you surprised at that, that you're 6-0 and at this point of the season? Well, I, I've told the media, you know, I would have been happy at 3-3 three and three right now. Um, to be 6-0 and is just unbelievable. So you got first place wrapped up. You go into the bye week now. Everybody gets a week off and then two more games at home. Is the rest of the way just about kind of building and, and retooling and getting ready for the playoff run? Uh, no, I, I think with our kids, you know, we're, we're, we're still so young. And you saw indications of that. Like uh, Andrew Buckley didn't have his best night tonight. Uh, uh, you know, we, we still got the old line had a few issues. But uh, and defensively, a good example is you know giving up those two big plays at the end. We, we still gotta go out. You know, my goal. I want to go eight no now. Um, maybe I shouldn't have said that. You know, but but I I'm so happy right now, and I, I just want to keep winning and, and allowing these kids to uh, keep succeeding.